Yeah, uh, and we're going to take David, he, him from Malaysia, who says that the Bible makes sense. Uh, David, what do you mean by the Bible makes sense? Hi, hi, okay. So, good evening to you. And then, first of all, I've been watching this show many times, the line, even. All right, so I understand that God cannot be proven, so I'm not going to claim that. And my claim is that Bible makes sense. And I'm at this point that I need you to judge whether my view makes sense to you. Because I'm at the point that you have convinced me that I could be wrong. Does that make okay. sense? Well, yeah, that's that's definitely that's definitely a good a good place to be, I think. Um yeah, what an, answer Richard's question if if you can, David. What what are you exactly what are you kind of getting at when you say the Bible makes sense? What what does that mean to you? All right. So I'm gonna my claim is the Bible makes sense. I'll start from the Bible does not start with Genesis, it starts with Isaiah 14, where God created heaven and earth, and the, the devil, the Satan, he rebelled and he was sent to earth and then he starts with now he goes to Genesis, where the wait, why, Adam wait, and real quick, hang, hang on, David. I'm sorry, but why why are you saying we start with Isaiah? What what's your reasoning for that? Uh, because the Bible does not start with Genesis, because when it starts with Genesis, it does not make any sense. But the story. But I I have Bible a Bible. Hang, hang on, David. Hang on, David. Why why is Isaiah why are you putting Isaiah first okay I have a bible right here this was actually my bible that was issued to me when I was going through confirmation many years ago and and Genesis is definitely the the first book here okay why why are you saying the correct order is Isaiah does it have to do with age does it have to do with something else like what what is your criteria for that because the story from there it's, it's so 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 what you're saying Isaiah is 14. by re by re by reworking the order of the books in the bible it then makes sense so then do you do you yeah. see why your claim initially is wrong now because you said the bible makes sense but the bible only makes sense by arbitrarily after the fact cutting it up and putting it in a different order to make it make sense does, does, does that yes. do you get that Yes. Okay, it. so that's prob that's problematic though, right? Cuz it's like it's like me saying it's like me pointing at a shepherd's pie and saying this is chicken noodle soup and then somebody goes, "Well, how is it chicken noodle soup?" and I go, "Well, because what I've done is I've, you know, changed what we all think of when we think of chicken noodle soup to to fit this shepherd's pie, right? Does, it, is it like that's a terrible example mainly because this this is a really bad way of making sense out of things like did, are, are you following along here i guess what i'm trying to say david is there's a mat i have a massive problem with you saying the bible makes sense if and only if we just completely rearrange it as it's been presented to us for generations and force the story to make sense to us today it just seems really uh after the fact man so it kind of feels like the bible doesn't make sense and you're admitting it by having to recreate it yeah it's telling a story and it is going rearranging by itself starting from isaiah and i understand that it is uh hard unacceptable but if you go by the arrangement that i'm telling it will make a sense but why did you arrange it like that to begin with? Because if the reason that you arranged it like this to begin with is specifically so that it quote unquote makes sense at the end, then don't you don't don't you see how this is a, a big circle? That's what I'm saying. Which is why many don't understand the way I understand, because as you say, it's a problem that it, it does not go by order. Yeah, it is. It is a problem. I, I agree. And when you read the Bible or the Quran, for instance, uh, in in the in the way that it's been printed, 
many times versus the actual age of the the various books right or chapters uh it completely tells a different story i mean i agree that that is true uh the the problem though is uh, is again like the whole making sense of it thing i i i don't exactly know what you're getting at there um, unless what you're just saying is the narrative seems to flow a little bit better, which is fine. Like, you know, the Lord of the Rings as a narrative flows perfectly fine. It, it, it all makes sense within the story, uh, but it isn't actually describing the reality around us. And when I think of thing, when I generally say things like that makes sense, you know, or something makes sense, what I'm, what I tend to be referring to is that relation to reality, right? that whole correspondence of a statement to the world around us, because that's how we know it's true. That follows logic. I agree. I'm not claiming that the Bible is true or God is true. Okay. My claim is I'm sticking to it, that my work makes sense according to my arrangement. Uh, Richard, do you, do you have any thoughts on this? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't know what you want us to, re I don't right. know exactly what you're asking us to respond to, uh, you know, and because yeah. look, this, this, this is, this is the thing. And this is why I asked you in what way uh, it made sense to begin with, because, and this is something I, I will often argue against atheists for is because people will say that the Bible is this, or the Bible is that, and the Bible means this, or the Bible means that, but it all depends on the context and because there are many, many ways to read the Bible, you can do it as a believer, you can do it as a historian, you can do it as a textual critic, you can do it as a theologian. There are lots of different ways to read it. And depending on which way you are reading it will depend entirely on whether it makes sense and how you interpret it. So just to simply come and say, well, I've, I've kind of rearranged it and it now makes sense to me. That's kind of, well, cool. I could rearrange it in a way that makes sense to me, but it still gives me no context as to whether it, it, you think, does this, uh, does this way that you have rearranged it to make sense to you, does it inform you in any way that God actually exists or the Bible is true no. in what it is saying? It does not explain to me that the God of the Bible is true, or that the arrangement uh, is true. My claim is, as you read it from Genesis to the end, if the Bible does not make sense, and right. due to that, uh, it does not tell a story. So when right. I and so, rearrange so it, to so to fix to fix that problem that you have come across, you have reinterpreted everything. You have changed the context. You have specifically changed the order that supposed scholars and theologians from many years ago said this was the divinely inspired order from God. The reason that you're you're doing this, David, the reason that you're doing this, man, is because you recognize the problems that we're pointing out and what 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 you're you're in the process of trying to say, yeah, but there's got to be something here that's valuable. And it's like, yeah, nobody's really disagreeing with that. Nobody really is disagreeing that, that, you know, uh, your particular set of chapters in a particular order does or doesn't make sense. Like that honestly isn't particularly important, man. Like the, the, the backstory for, one minor character in Lord of the Rings makes sense. Does that mean that it's true? Does that mean that it is connected to the reality around us? Because if at the end of the day, all you're saying is, hey, man, this story actually flows in a narrative structure start to finish and it hits all the points that a story should hit. It's like, yeah, man, like, sure, no worries there. Um, but I'd just rather talk about things that are more important. I'd, I'd just rather have a conversation where we're talking about whether or not that story that that makes sense in itself internally, whether that makes sense to the story of the world around us, to, to, to this reality, right? So I, I don't think Richard and I are really disagreeing that like, you know, the story of Joseph in terms of stories 
flows logically, right? Like he, he obviously couldn't have been in Egypt until he was sent there somehow. Don't exactly know how he got there. Could have been, you know, from his brother selling him off. Could have been some, some Midianite traders that picked him up. We don't know. That doesn't matter, I guess. Um, but yeah, just, just on the face, trying to give you as many toys to play with, it just doesn't feel like this claim really is much, right? But unfortunately, no matter how you reconstruct the stories of the Bible, you're going to have things in them that are just seemingly flat incorrect, right? Like, even if you put the story of Genesis second, guess what you have? You still have two two creation stories that disagree not only with each other, but with all understanding that we seemingly have about the universe around us. So I, I just don't know on what level, again, it, it really makes sense because I, I just don't feel like we've had a good explanation I, I, of that. Yeah, that's the problem here. I understand that, but you are, you are, you are rejecting my claim before listening to the claim. And because I understand you have many, many callers who you who we have. We don't appear to have made a claim, David. This is the thing. Yeah. You, you've simply said if I rearrange the Bible, it makes sense. Well, cool. If yeah. I rearrange yeah. the Quran, it makes sense. And that's because the uh -huh. Quran is not written in chronological order. Right. If you rearrange it, it makes more sense. That has yeah. no bearing or not on whether it is true. And, right. you know, at, David, right. go away. Give us a call back <laughs> next week. Uh -huh. David, go away and have a think about what it is you, you're trying to kind of elucidate and, you know, try and put it in in a kind of a a, a, a form, and the form of an argument, rather than simply saying, well, if you rearrange it, it makes sense. Uh, we do appreciate your calling, David, but I think you need to kind of work a little bit on, uh, on the kind of delivery of the argument. Uh, so go away and have a think about it and give us a call back. 